3D is all about working with objects, so learning how to select them seems pretty basic and important. In Blender, hover your mouse over the default cube here, then left click. Now hover over the camera object and left click. Whichever object is selected is outlined in orange. We've been working mainly in the 3D view window of Blender. So now let's look at this window in the top right. This editor is called the Outliner. By default, we are in view layer mode. More on these modes later. And we can see a hierarchy of our objects. A scene collection, under which there is a sub-collection simply named collection. Inside this are our three default objects and they are listed in alphabetical order. Camera, cube, and light. Each has an icon for the type of object they are. A camera object, a mesh object, and a light object. We can also select objects in our scene from here. Left click select the cube in the outliner. You'll notice that this is outlined in orange in the viewport. Now select the camera in the outliner, and then the light. Each in turn will show up highlighted wherever an object can be selected. The window below the outliner is our properties editor. As we select different types of objects in either our outliner or our 3D view, we may notice slight differences in what this properties editor shows. We'll revisit this editor later. To select multiple objects, use the shift key. Let's select the cube in our 3D view, then holding down shift, left click on the camera, then still holding down shift, select the light. See how in the outliner all three objects are now selected. We can also see which object is the active object. It's the one with the lighter orange outline in the 3D view and this lighter blue bar in the outliner. You can also use shift left click to deselect something. Click on the active object, and this will deselect it in one click. However, clicking on a non-active object, anything with a darker orange outline, will first make it the active object. Then a second shift left click will deselect it. Shift clicking also works in a similar way in the outliner with a few minor differences, because selection here works more like a file browser. Swapping out Control for Shift in this window will replicate the same results, and you can see in the 3D viewport that the selection is mirrored correctly. There are also hotkeys for selecting all and deselecting all. A will select all. Alt A will deselect all. At the top of our toolbox, that's this pop out overlay on the left of the 3D viewport, we have our Select tool. You can hide or unhide the toolbox with the hotkey T. You can also hover your mouse over the right side of this overlay, and when it turns into a double-headed arrow, you can click and drag this out so that you can see a description of the tool next to its icon. By default, the selection tool is set to select box. But you might notice in the bottom right, there's this small arrow or triangle. Any tool that has this is hiding other options. Click and hold on the icon to reveal these. Select has the tweak, select box, select circle, and select lasso as its options. If we hover over any of these for a second, a description dialog pops up with some useful information, including what hotkeys we'd need to press to activate these. For now, let's leave it as its default and that's select box. Click and drag anywhere in your 3D viewport and a selection box will appear. Anything inside that selection box will be selected. Click and drag a different selection. Now these objects are selected, but what is omitted is automatically deselected. If we wish to add to a selection, you can hold down shift, then click and drag over objects that you wish to add. If you hold down control 
and drag a selection box. Then you will deselect anything from the selection. As with other software which has options for selection types, Blender has these different types of modes, which you could use, located in the top left of the 3D viewport. From left to right, the first icon is your basic selection operation. This is your default. The second icon will do what Shift Select does, and that's add to a selection. The third icon does what Control Select does, and that is subtract from a selection. The fourth icon will invert anything you box select. So for example, let's say we have the cube and lamp selected, then we box select the camera and the cube, the cube becomes deselected, and the camera is now selected. The fifth icon is a little tricky to explain. This will allow you to deselect anything outside of your new selection. So let's say we've selected everything, and we have this intersect existing selection active. Only the objects that we select inside of all of these already selected objects will remain selected. For now, I'll reset this to default selection mode because it's probably easier to remember how to just select and use shift and control. The other hidden selection tools work in the same way. It's just that instead of a box, you can use a circle and you can increase or decrease the size of its radius by scrolling with your middle mouse wheel while holding down left click. Then paint over the objects that you wish to select. Shift and Control will modify this selection in the same way as with Box Select. Lasso allows you to draw an arbitrary shape around the objects that you wish to select. In fact, I generally set Lasso as my default, but of course, for the purposes of this basic course, I'm going to leave everything to its normal settings. Selection can seem like a straightforward tool, but knowing the different ways that Blender allows you to perform various selection operations does play into working smarter later on down the track. The three main takeaways should be that you can just left click to select objects, shift left click to add or toggle an active object in a selection, and control left click to deselect. So if you can do those three things, you're ready to move on to the next lesson where we're going to have some fun with different ways of transforming objects. <laughs>